Yo, it's Riggio. It's your boy Parnell. And we're checking in to the industry's most wanted podcast. Yes, indeed. Just us down in Florida. She like my decorum. I just went on tour, but I might not run a tour bus. I might get a Tessie, but I might not put the doors up. I ain't really been drinking, but tonight I might just pour it up. I ignored her, but she still like my aura. I've been out west, I think I'm too so I throw it up. What's going on, man? It's your girl, Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the Industry's Most Wanted Podcast. Podcast. Boom. I heard we got Chicago in the building. Chicago. Chi-Town in the building. What's going on with you guys? Thank you both for being here. Hey, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? You guys are on tour right now. Mm -hmm. All that. But without further ado, go ahead and uh, give me that official introduction. Oh, it's Riggio. And it's Parnell. And we checking in to the industry's most wanted podcast. Definitely, mm-hmm. man. Appreciate you guys being here. Um, let's talk about, first and foremost, you know, you guys are both from the Chicago area. Yes. Born and raised. Born yes. and raised. So are you guys uh, blood cousins, brothers, or you just... Friends. Real good friends. Yeah, good but homies. you brothers, though, for real. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Might yeah. as well be brothers. Yeah. Facts, most definitely. How long you guys known each other? Since 2018. Okay, so fairly recently, about five years or so. Uh-huh. Let's talk about that for just a moment. How did you guys link up? <laughs> so um, we was actually at a party, and uh, <laughs> one of my yeah one, <laughs> one of my best friends uh, he he took me to this party, and he knew I do music. So uh, he knew him from the Paul College, yeah, the Paul University. Yeah, because my you. friend he went to the Paul University. He was like, "Hey man, I want to introduce you for, to somebody." This Igor rap, this Igor rap, y'all connect. <laughs> yeah, he was wasted, so you know what I'm saying? And then ever since then, we just been locked in because, uh, you know, we wanted to throw shows and everything. Love and we it. we just connected from there. So you guys were on the same page with what you yeah. wanted to do. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. What did you think about him when you first met him? Be honest. I'm going to keep it a bean. He was talking to this female at the time. <laughs> <laughs> when I first met him, I'm like, oh, he's trying to get some Uchi. <laughs> 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 but it was cool though. That is so funny. That's dope. So you guys have been vibing out ever since. Ever since. Yeah, ever yeah. since. That yeah. is really dope, man. When did you uh first start doing music? About how old were you when you actually started getting in the studio recording and stuff like that? Um I created my first song when I was about seventeen years old. Okay. Yeah, so it was about ten years ago actually. When so I was a senior in high school. I was about to say high school years, but was yeah. it always a passion for you? Like, you know, growing up did you or was you into sports or something different? I actually sucked at sports. I, I, <laughs> like I, your honesty. Yeah, I sucked at sports. I sucked at most things. Music was just <laughs> freestyling and stuff like that was like the one thing I was good at throughout yeah. my life. So I just took it serious when I was like 17. That's what we have to do. We have to find what we're good at mm-hmm. and then hope that we enjoy it as well. Exactly. There's some people that are good at stuff, but they don't like doing it. You found something that you're good at and you enjoy doing. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. What about you? How long have you been doing music like on a, on a professional level? Um, on a professional level, I'll probably say, shoot, probably like mm, 19. Okay. Yeah, on a professional level, you're 19. Oh. Yeah. Nice. And um, I feel like it hasn't always been a passion for me, to be honest. I had a huge fear of just like talking in front of people. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I got to overcome this fear. And uh, one time in high school, uh, this my English teacher said, yo, you either write a poem or a rap and recited in front of the class. So I wrote a rap and the way the people reacted to it, I'm like, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I had fun doing this. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try doing music. That yeah. is dope. Do you get social anxiety at all? Um, If I'm tired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I'm tired because I feel like I'm a social butterfly, but I also need my alone time. You know what I'm saying? So we yeah. all need that. Yeah, for real. I agree. That's kind of how you regroup, uh, recharge, yeah. you know, shut the world out for a little while. Do you meditate? I do. I do. That's so important, I isn't do. it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I kind of caught that vibe from you. Really? <laughs> yeah, I really uh, did. Even with the shades, you can't <laughs> even see my eyes and you caught that vibe. Huh? Are you an empath? Um, I feel like I'm both. I got um, you. Introvert, extrovert. Yeah. You know? Oh, empath, empath, empath. Yes, I am. I yeah. am. I am. I Me am. Me too. Yeah. Uh, Yo, so it's to a empaths point. Empaths you like. It's to <laughs> <Right>. a point. <laughs> but look, though, do you like being an empath? Because me, it's to a point where I could walk past people and feel their energy. Exactly. I Honestly, when I was younger, I didn't mind it. I kind of loved it. Now mm-hmm. I'm getting a little older. You know, like mm-hmm. I said, I'm in my 40s. It, it keeps me from wanting to do a lot of things. Mm, you know, okay. I do nice. now get the social anxieties and stuff mm-hmm. like that because of 
exactly that like yeah. all the ugly energies that are yeah. out there yeah. yeah i caught that vibe from you though really? see because when you're an empath you you get that you understand Absolutely. that yeah that's dope what about you are you at all do you get you know anxiety being in big crowds and stuff like that or are you like you the social butterfly all the time I love talking to people. <laughs> I really do. I really like people a lot. Yeah. I think sometimes my anxiety build up if I got to do some big public something. Right. But I got this little this routine I do. I I I pee, I poop, <laughs> and I pray. Number one, number two, and number three. Uh, so I that's why you be pray. going thirty minutes before you, you got to hey, go on stage. Before I go on stage, they be where Richie your way. I be like, I don't yeah. know. Oh, he handling the three P's. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the bathroom somewhere. The so three yeah. P's. That is so funny. But talking one on one is cool. Though. That's no, absolutely. Is. And when you got people around you that you're comfortable with, those are I call them. That's your safe space. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, like yeah, if you absolutely. go somewhere by yourself, it's gonna be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, how would you say that you know you really like started getting into music? I know you said it wasn't always a passion for you. Like, what kind of jump started that for you? Um, I guess my love from from listening to music. Yeah. Uh, I grew up playing rock band. I know? was gonna say, I see you got a Kiss shirt on. Yeah, That's dope. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up playing rock band, and um, all I guess that um sparked my alternative ear. Yeah. So listening to different music, and that's really where it started from, just listening to music. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that's that's where it started. <laughs> Are you a lover of all types of music? Oh, I love everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too much music that I don't listen to, yeah. to be honest with you. I listen to the most hardcore rock, <laughs> to, the, to the most softest country, you feel me, yeah. to the rap music, R&B. Throw it my way as long as it sounds good. Good music, good music. A hundred percent. And I think when you're a creator of music like you guys are, you're a true artist, you have to have a diverse ear. Got to. So important. Got to. Have you created rock music as of late? Uh, I feel like I have. Yeah, yeah I feel like got I a have. rocker vibe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got an alternative vibe. I feel like from the start when I started making music, I always had a unique vibe to my music. Yeah. So I don't even know how to categorize my music till today. Yeah. So it may be rock, maybe R&B, <laughs> maybe soul, maybe rap, you know? Mm. So, yeah. I'm you know what's crazy? The first song that me and him ever did, we never even released it, but it was like a rock rap mm -hmm. song. That's hard. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's and cool. then I play guitar, so... Yeah, I've been playing guitar for like two years. Wow. Mm -hmm. How did you decide to start doing that? Because I think guitar is like one of my faves. What type of guitar do you play? Uh, electric. Okay. I, I play acoustic as well. Yeah. Electric, yeah. That is how, did I just start, how did I start uh, listening to Jimi Hendrix? Yeah. I heard Jimi Hendrix one time, and it literally felt like a lightning bolt just going through my body. It's and electrifying. Like, yeah. Crazy. I'm like, yo, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I need to feel that. No, nah, for real. Yeah. 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 That is really dope, yeah. man. Um, let's take it back to when you guys created that song that you said you never released. Yeah. Why did it never come out? Uh, I feel like we both perfectionists <laughs> at the end of the day. Yeah. Me and him both like to put our best foot forward. And uh -huh. even though we love the music, it's one of those things where it's like, sure, we be wanting it to, f you know what I'm saying, feel that 100%. Uh -huh. Yeah, 100%. You know I say that all the yeah. time, 100%. 100%. So, yeah, and it was so early on. We made so much music since then. So we just really, like, even the song that I had sent to you, yes. the song that we did, and uh, so we felt like we was ready. We like, this the one. We got to, like, put this one out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if it, won't, if it don't feel like that, we ain't putting it out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. because once is out there is out there yeah, no real. matter if you delete it somebody yeah, done heard it there, yeah. streamed it whatever yeah. um when you guys get together what is the chemistry like when you're in the studio fun it's just it's like fun. yeah it's just like like we real life family so we just be chilling vibing uh feeding off each other energy feeding off each other creativity yeah very experimental um yeah, what you feel like? Yeah, no, I feel the same way. It's super comfortable. So, yeah. like, you know, me and him got a great connection outside of music. Yeah. So I feel like the fact that we got a great connection outside of music, when we get in that booth, it's like it's seamless. You yes. know what I'm saying? It's yeah. seamless. It's beautiful. It's like one of those things. I ain't never really had this much chemistry with anybody, you know yeah. what I'm saying, as a rapper, you feel me? So mm -hmm. it's nothing. That is important, man. With anything we do, if we, you know, someone's our business partner or somebody you make music with or your mm -hmm. engineer, you have to have that chemistry there. Absolutely. Because yes. if there's any kind of tension whatsoever, it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And yeah. the ego's got to go out the window, too. Absolutely. Hey, no, that's a good point because <laughs> I feel like with us, we don't really come from a competitive space when we're making music. We come from a complementary space. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, we're trying to be I love co that. cooperative. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. we really just want it to be the best product possible. We absolutely. don't care about all that extra, you know, that everybody be talking about. Exactly. 
Exactly. Yeah, so how do you guys work together and keep the peace? Because, you know, sometimes you work with people and egos do get in the way. Pride gets in the way. Do you guys just kind of push that to the side? Well, every so often I just got to beat them up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all. That's, 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 That's I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> nah, to be honest. <laughs> I'm joking. To be honest. <laughs> Is that why you got your shades on right now? <laughs> <laughs> Covered up a little black eye? Nah, no, I'm just playing. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I feel like um, I feel like it, it helps. So our job is to be artists, and so we yeah. are expressive, and we take that outside of the booth. You know what I'm saying? So if we feel like yo, I'm tripping or he tripping, we just talk on it, or you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we check in with one another, like we real life brothers. You know what I'm saying? For real. So, and we both got like a lot of faith in God too, and I mm-hmm. feel like we always can connect in that way. Yeah. And it kind of pulls us out of that egotistical space. Absolutely. That's so important. Absolutely. Let me ask you this. When you wake up in the morning and you open your eyes, what is the first thing that you do? Well, I check IG. <laughs> Get a bing. I check IG. But outside of IG, honestly, I try I try to make it a point every day to be like, thank you, God. Thank you for waking me that's up. What I, that's the answer I was looking for. Yeah, I'm really trying so hard. I, I try to remember Sometimes that. you forget, though. Uh, yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm the same way. Like, I, I make my best effort every morning. First thing I do, thank you, God, for waking me up. Yeah. Thank, but every now and again, we forget. I, IG be calling mm, us like yeah, a fiend. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, How do you start your day? The first thing I do. The first thing I do when I wake up is think about my thoughts. It sounds crazy, but, yeah, I just be thinking about my thoughts. Yeah. And um, I'll be like, wow, okay. And that that brings me to a place where, okay, it's time for gratitude now. Yeah. yeah. It's time for gratitude. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, God, for waking me up. You know? Yeah, because my mind could get a little stormy. Yes. And, um, yeah, so think about my thoughts, stretch, and then thank you, God, for waking me up. Let's meditate. Yes, so positive that, affirmations that, too. Absolutely. Yeah, that we, works. It's how we start our day is how the rest of our day is going to go. Absolutely. It's important. Absolutely. I've yeah. been talking about that a little bit more with some of these younger artists because, you know, they were like, yeah, I wake up and I smoke. And I'm like, that's <laughs> cool, but you got to give praise to the man above yeah, too, for real. even waking you up. Got you know to. what I'm saying? For real. For yeah. real. What do you enjoy the most about being a music artist? Um, Just being free. Yeah. Just, just expressing myself freely, you yeah. know, because I feel like it's you got good friends, you got family members, but don't nobody want to hear you complain all the time. <laughs> but that beat will accept you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could complain to the beat. No, for real. You could yell to the beat, <laughs> cry to the beat, scream to the beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like just being able to express how I feel within without people like judging me. Yeah. So yeah, pouring beat, your emotions exactly, into it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The beat will never judge you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, what, what about you? What do you enjoy the most? <laughs> about being a musician. Yes. Man, I think it's the reactions from people when you show somebody your song or yeah. if you perform it in front of somebody. Yeah. And y'all being able to connect and you looking at people in the eye and everything. Um, that energy you get from other people is probably the thing that I enjoy the most. Cause yeah. mm-hmm. I would love making music if it was just me, but. I wouldn't be addicted to it if I wasn't able to share it with somebody. Right, understood. Mm-hmm. Feedback, you yeah. know. It's so like a yeah. slick adrenaline rush. Oh yeah, it's like, yeah. boy, it's like crack. Like <laughs> you know, what I'm saying I be mean now. I'm like, oh my goodness, I feed off that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you guys are on tour right now. Yeah. What's the name of the tour that you're on? The 28 Summers Tour. I released a project called 28 Winters earlier this year. So That's it's so. Because I turned 28, so it's the 28 Summers Tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is this your first time putting a full tour together? Second time. Second, second time. time. Yeah, yeah, second time. All second right. Time. So were you on the first tour? I was. All right. So let's talk about it a little bit. Looking back from the first tour to where you're at now, would you say this time around you were a little bit more prepared, a little bit more ready because you've been there, done that before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. The first time we was, one, we didn't we didn't save enough money. That's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then not only did we not save enough money, I feel like we didn't even map out the cities good. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, yeah. We like went from like <laughs> I think we went from Akron, Ohio to Philadelphia. <laughs> and I was just like, we could have did better than that. No, nah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So this one was way better, way better. And yeah. we should have we should have actually sold something out first. Yeah, we didn't sell we ain't nothing. No merch. Yeah, we, ain't no merch. we I was I tried to sell some merch, but it was stupid. So yeah. yeah. No, feel, that's dope. I think that's important though. You that first time around was really trial and error. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It set you up for the second one. It's funny you said that because I have an artist that I interviewed recently and he said the same thing he's like what i didn't realize was how much money was going to take he said he ran mm. out of money like literally mm-hmm. part way through the tour wow. it's like very that. expensive it'd be yeah. like that g 
How yeah. many uh, cities are you guys touching on this tour? We planned on doing 10, but we probably only do like seven, eight. Yeah. yeah. That's plenty, though. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. we going to be going from like, so our first show was in Detroit, and then we went all the way from Detroit to um, Ohio to New York. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now we in Atlanta. Tomorrow we should be in Texas. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's going to be all over the place. Are mm-hmm. you guys driving or flying? Oh, we drive. Driving. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. I'm a driver, too, because yeah. you like you get to see stuff. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What, what would you say is your best experience being on tour? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> I know mine. <laughs> you, you know yours? <laughs> that chopped cheese steak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot we had that chopped cheese. You must be hungry. It's <laughs> 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 the first thing that came to mind. That chopped nah, cheese. Nah. You know, I think my favorite experience so far is um, when we went to Detroit, it was just so much love from people that we knew that yeah. came out there, and everybody was just so like – giving with their love and their energy. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was like they wanted to see They us. wanted you to be yeah. there. They wanted to be in your presence. Yeah, and yeah. the same thing happened even when we went to New York and everything. Even yesterday, it's like people just wanted to see us. And I just yeah. love that feeling of people, like, waiting on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's so cool. I feel like mine, Um, so I've been playing guitar for two years, right? Yeah. And the way my, uh, my playlist set is, so I got, like, some bangers, crazy bangers, probably, like, four or five songs straight and it's just hype 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 and at the end of the set i got like this bluesy backing track that's hard and then i just play my guitar and i feel like yeah that's this is my first time on tour with my guitar so yeah. I, just to be able to be comfortable enough to play in front of people i feel like it's just a beautiful thing absolutely me. yeah yeah you get to share your journey with people absolutely yes yeah. yeah. are you gonna learn how to play any other instruments Yes, yes. I'm drums, open. perhaps? Oh, my God. <laughs> Please learn yes, the drums. <laughs> yes, I can't wait because when I be playing my guitar with a band and I be in front of the drums, like the way the bass just be hitting yeah. my body, I'm like, whoa, yeah. I want to have that feel with the sticks in your hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you. I definitely want to learn how to play the drums. That's yeah. dope. Have you um, been in the studio and actually recorded to live instrumentation? Um. If not, you should experience that. Yeah, not yet. We was actually just talking about that on our way here. Yeah. 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 Not how you want to do that. Actually have the people come in with all their, and do a live, Absolutely. you know, but instead of the producer out there pushing the buttons, yeah. you actually yeah. have everybody in there. Absolutely. At least one time and oh, just yeah. cook up for you that way. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's how, that's where we're taking it. Yeah, that's where we're taking it. You got to. Yeah, most definitely. Be creative. Absolutely. What makes you different? There's so many artists out here right now, right? Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the artists. There's a 10 bazillion of you guys. (laughs) Shout out to (laughs) y'all. For real. (laughs) What makes you different? What makes you stand out from everybody else? I believe my, my faith in God just different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's it's not too many artists that, that's coming the way that I'm coming when it comes down to their faith in God. Like yeah. I can I'm the type of person that I could talk to you from a real place and we can we can talk about real life, but then you know, we can go to a spiritual place too, you know what I'm saying? And we can dwell in their world. Yeah. And I just feel like I can I can dwell within both of those spaces like so comfortably. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't gonna be no a bunch of fluff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not giving you a bunch of nonsense. I'm giving you real, real life. And I feel like that's that's what makes Riggio Riggio. Absolutely. I could tell you have a great hit on your shoulders. Like you're you are the epitome of I'm a dope artist. I'm one with God. I love that about you because a lot of these younger artists, they need to get on board with that. You know, mm-hmm. they're all, a lot of them are heading in the wrong direction. They yeah. want to wake up first thing in the morning and start drinking some lean. And mm-hmm. I ain't throwing shade, but, you know, <laughs> they need to, you know, they could take heed to what you're doing. For sure. Yeah. What would you say to artists, like any of these young artists out there who are maybe a little bit lost and they're not in touch with, you know, God and things like that? What would you say to them? What I say, man, I feel like it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to give people advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of them don't want to listen. It's kind of hard to give people advice. I, I feel like what the best thing I can do is show love to them and just hope that they will show love to the people around them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all thing I can say. Like, I can't tell you how to live. I can't tell you your drug of choice should be this or that, even though, you know, it's a lot of drugs I don't do. But, like, just make sure you loving your people that's around you. You know what I'm saying? Don't get too big-headed and, like, yeah. get to treat people cr- crazy because it can be a guy who might do lean every day, but he might, you know, love on his mama and love on his girl endlessly. And that lean addiction might be a fault of his, but that love in his heart is what's going to really – Take him places, you know what I'm saying. 100%. So just keep, just keep loving people. That's all I gotta say. Man, I say, I say, self love is key. Yes, learn how to love self. Yes, you know what I'm saying because that's 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 the root of everything. You know, whatever you install in yourself is how you're gonna project 
to the world. Absolutely. So if yeah. you learn self love, then I feel like you'll be good. Man, that's facts. And that's oftentimes it. we have to really take it back to the basics because even though we are who we are, mm-hmm. we all get lost a little bit from time oh, yeah. to time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, I mean, I, one thing I've been doing recently is I wake up every morning and I journal. Mm-hmm. I bought this that's book. Cool. It's called the Three Minute Positivity Journal. Mm-hmm. And you have to fill out the pages. What are you grateful for? Mm-hmm. What do you, you know, what are your goals for the day? You know, mm-hmm. any final words? And then at night you got to repeat and do the same thing and mm-hmm. kind of compare it. And you got to do it for 60 days. Mm. And it helps change your mindset and your positivity because, again, it goes back to what we said. However we start our day sets the tone for the rest yes, of the day. Absolutely. That's nice. Yeah. Hold yes. on. Where you get that book from? I bought it on Amazon. <laughs> Can you Amazon text me that? I will. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. And then there's a follow-up to it. So the first one, the first edition is called the Three-Minute Positivity Journal. And, like, the first portion of the book you read through it and it's positive affirmations, you know. Then you go through 60 days of journaling morning and night. Once you finish that, then you move on to the next one, which is called the Three-Minute Happiness Journal journal and oh, talks that's cool. yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying so definitely i'll, I'll send you the information because yeah. for me personally it's been helping and i've shared it with a couple of my friends that have been doing it and it's been helping them as well oh yeah i need that we mm-hmm. got a my doctor told i was telling my doctor i'm like i get a little bit of anxiety he's like you need to start journaling mm-hmm. so that's what prompted me to do it and i have like getting them emotions out like writing your music mm-hmm. just makes you feel better yeah most yes. definitely yes. um i had asked him what makes him different what makes him stand out i'm gonna ask you the same question Man. I've been trying to think of my answer. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only thing that come to mind is uh, the fact that I'm a rapper as well as a guitarist. Yeah. I don't know too many rappers that, that play guitar. I agree. True. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And just like where I'm at now to where I see myself in the future is crazy. I wish y'all could see it, but I got to take my time and show y'all. Absolutely. I wish y'all could just <laughs> dig in my brain and see it, but it's, yeah. God got me set up right. Yeah, yeah so you have a very yeah, unique baby. style. Thank you, appreciate you. Absolutely. Who do you guys got with you today? You brought someone. She all lovely and beautiful over there. Who you got? That's our homie Thorn. Shout out Thorn. To Thorn. Thorn is an amazing, oh an amazing artist. She's such a, an amazing creative overall. Her, yeah. Her, the way her mind work is just so unique, and everybody need to witness it in their lifetime. Yeah. And she's one of the funniest people I know. I love it. You <laughs> gotta have a dope female on your team. That's so important. You got to. I don't care what anybody says. You got women are like. Like the glue will oftentimes that hold everything together mm-hmm. and women get stuff done. I'm just saying. No shade <laughs> to the fellas. You know? For sure, for sure. That's true. How did you guys link up with her? We met Thorne last year in October. Okay. Uh, she throws these uh shows called Botanical Bars. And she get a whole bunch of artists. Oh. So we like met party. her there, and she invited us out to perform. Love it. Yeah, in the Chicago cool. area? Yeah, in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And we've been cool ever since. Man. What is the music scene like right now in Chicago for independent artists? Independent. So I feel like it's an open lane. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can come in and really just do your thing. Yeah. It, unfortunately, uh, you know, it'd be a lot of, you know, favoritism and stuff yeah. like that. You know, you got to over be in the mix a lot of times and yeah. really show who you is. But I, it's an open lane. I feel like anybody can come and take it right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. if you if you hard, if you really going crazy, I don't care who you're in front of. People going to rock with you and they're going to be like, oh, man, this is nice. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's kind of like how Atlanta is, too. They're so yeah. welcoming. Um, anything you want to add to that? Uh, Well, well, yeah, he just kind of said everything. But I was going to say, um, what I was going to say, yeah, that give us a good advantage, to be honest, because we different with our music. So, you know, and good music will be heard. Yes. So, yeah, it's open lane. And mm-hmm. it's up for grabs, yeah. So let's talk about producers. I had one of the dopest from Chicago here like two weeks ago. Shout out to Fireman. Oh, nice. um, he was one of the originators of Drill Beats. You wow. know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, Who he worked with? He, some of everybody, wow. some of everybody, Kanye, and uh, he did a recent song with NLE Chopper, and he was here with a female artist that I've been working with, Bella Black. They just put out a really dope record. Nice. Um, make sure you check him out because he's from the city. It's F Y I M A N Fireman. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? So, yeah. who are some of the producers you've been working with? Uh, so I produce. You know, what I'm saying okay. he produce. So what do you guys <laughs> not do? <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> So For real. We both oh, produce, man. and then we got to give a special shout out to our DJ Mud. You know what I'm saying? We've been working with him for for years. Okay. So yeah. if it ain't if it ain't for me, if it ain't from him, if it ain't from Mud, it's from YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> 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 no, nah, that's dope. How long have you been producing? Uh, I've been producing since 2017. Wow. Yeah. That is really, really. You engineer as well? Yeah, I engineer too. Man. The thing I sent you, we engineered. That is dope. You also engineer? Yeah. Yeah. 
You guys are like a plethora. I love it. <laughs> Talk to us about how important it is for artists to be hands-on with every aspect of what you guys do. Mm. If you're an artist and you ain't got a whole bunch of money, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Which <laughs> most of them don't. You, you know, ain't got just... a whole bunch of money. You ain't got a whole bunch of connections. You might as well get on YouTube University and learn your for way real. to the top. No, for Yo, real. <laughs> I'm going to come clean. Like The reason why I started producing and engineering because I was spending so much money in studios yeah. and the product wasn't coming out how i had it in my mm. mind so yeah. i'm like and it was killing my it was killing my dream and my passion for music yeah so i'm like yo i need to learn this on my own okay. and ironically i met up with bro and he taught me everything i know and i just add my spin on it and yeah so it's super important yo if you want to if you want to get your product out exactly how you want it and hear it and envision it in your mind yeah. you got to learn it yourself mm -hmm. absolutely who yeah. better to get your sound the way you want it than for you real, you for real because like what for you real. said you can hear it in your head mm -hmm. but only you can hear that you can't absolutely explain that to someone exactly. yeah. and you don't want to be babysitting your engineer uh, saying well do this yeah, do, just exactly. do it yourself yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like my engineers hated me because of that <laughs> right. I'll be on their shoulder like, you, you, you see what Thor in that usually artists sit over there I'll be right here next to them hey move over that over, over a little bit <laughs> Hey, he like that teacher that'll walk up to you right over your shoulder. Just hovering <laughs> over you. Yeah. I know they hate it. Breathing yeah. down their neck. Like, dang, can you back? No, but absolutely, because it's, again, that's why, like, taking it back to the first song you did. It wasn't to your perfection or liking. Yeah. So you never made it out there. Mm -hmm. Now you can take your time with it. If you need to go back and make a few changes here True. and there, you can absolutely do that before you release it. Yes. Um, how long did it take you to start making beats? Like, how long of a process was it before you feel like you perfected it? It's, you know what's so crazy about making beats? You think that you really good when you first start out. So when I first made them beats, I'm like, what this is this popping? Fire. I'm going to put this out now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it took, like, I would say about a year and a half. And okay. I, I had to quit my job because, one, the job was, um, I was working at elementary school. That's a blessing. <laughs> For real. Yeah. But I had to quit my job because I really needed to focus on my craft. Yeah. And, like, you know, I saved up just a little bit of money, and I, like, forget it. And once I quit my job and I was focusing on it, about, about – Three months, I got super good at producing. It yeah, was crazy. That's so, amazing. Yeah. Mm. God took it from there. Yeah, one hundred percent. He had, and and it does. It comes to a point when you're doing this, you get so busy or so in tune with it, you do have to leave work to be able mm. to focus on this. Same. Same thing with you. Um, you know, production and engineering. How long? You know, you said he taught you a lot of stuff. How long would you say that it took you to really like master it or perfect it to your liking? Um, to my liking. Okay, yeah, that was a good question because I was about to say I don't think production or engineering could get to a point where you master it because if you experimental with your music then it's gonna be always something elevating new yeah. exactly that you want to uh cover but to my liking probably like um probably like it took me five years mm. wow yeah five years that's dope though take your yeah. time with it yeah for real because i i like i don't know i like to call it texture i like to add texture to yeah. my music i like to be like i like to play with effects and everything yeah yeah, yeah. And he yeah. easily one of the most creative producers i've ever seen in my life it. like he's the type yeah. of person that he got the patience to look through every single sound effect <laughs> and <laughs> test every yes. single one yes That's i will so. do it yeah. i will do it because i just like how music feel yeah, yeah. like yeah. i ain't got as much patience as him i'm the type of person so show me what i need to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let me get through this real quick exactly yeah he amazing absolutely yeah. i heard you say earlier you're talking about youtube university mm -hmm. and i love that man because really there's not an actual university. I mean, you could go to like full sail and places like that to learn how to engineer. But a lot of the stuff that we do, we have to either learn on our own or go to YouTube University. Absolutely. Heck yeah. yeah. So anybody that's aspiring to get into like, you know, producing engineering and maybe they can't afford to go to school. What would you advise them to do? Go to YouTube University? 1,000% <laughs> go to YouTube. And yeah. then, like, just learn from the people around you. Like, yeah. he learned from me. I learned from this dude named Stefan Reed on YouTube. It's a puppet. Yeah. You know uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But it makes it fun, though. Gee, it made it so easily consumable. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, though, like, just... YouTube or the people around you, like just Absolutely. ask questions. Cause I had an engineer at the beginning, and I while I was learning from YouTube, I was asking my engineer. I sent him the song, be like, "How does this sound?" He was like, "Oh, well, do this and do that." Yeah. And I didn't know what he was talking about, yeah. but I would look it up. You feel? Yeah. Me? So yeah, that's what I recommend for sure. Yeah. That is dope, man. Yeah, cause like oftentimes we gotta either like we said we can't afford to do certain things. Yeah. We gotta do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Cut out the middleman. That's what mm -hmm. I did when I tried to figure out this whole setup with the cameras. 
I did. I went to YouTube, searched it out, found videos because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Yeah. But I just knew I needed to do it myself because you can't always depend on other people to be there for you. Exactly. Absolutely. Like you probably ain't got Absolutely. the three, four, five hundred dollars to pay a cameraman every, every time. Day. No, yeah. exactly. Then I'd have to be charging like fifteen hundred for interviews, and that's insane to me. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, exactly. okay, we can do it ourselves and charge a little bit less. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Get yeah. more business to come through. Um, what other business ventures are you interested in pursuing, or are you already pursuing? Mm, well, we started our label at the beginning of the year. So for me, music is really my life. Yeah. That's all I do. You feel me? If I ain't doing music, I'm trying to make money any way I can make some money. Yeah. Legally. Legally. <laughs> I don't I don't make illegal money. Uh, but <laughs> Throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Legally, on a real note though. But it's one of those things where it's all music for me. Like yeah. it's music business. Yeah. That's all I care. I'm passionate about music. That's all I love. That's all I care to think about. What about film though? Does that interest you at all? I don't care about movies like that. <laughs> I, you know what I do like though? I like video games. I would love to But I'm talking about like getting into film, like you actually acting and stuff. That doesn't interest you I'm at not, all. I'm not Tupac, I'm Riggio. <laughs> I'd rather create I'd rather create a video. Game. I want to create like a rap career video game. You know that's what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah, that's what I would want to do. Or, or because music is such a focus for you, get your music into films. Sync licensing. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Man, 100%. There you go. So there there you'll tap into film somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, yeah. What's the name of your label you started? Raw Entertainment. So how did you come up with that title? What does that mean to you? Back when I was about 17, 18 years old, me and my friends, we started rapping, like I was telling you earlier. Yeah. And what happened was like, we just needed, like, a name for something. Yeah. So they took the first letter from my name and then the first letter from my homie Ace name and the first letter from uh, Wiz name. And we like, oh, raw That is dope. <laughs> yeah. I love that. So it actually has some significance behind it. Yeah, yeah. That is hard. And I've been holding on to it. We literally, I know we started to label this shit, but it's something I've been holding on to for about 10 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's dope that you kept it true to where you started at. Yeah, thank you. Most means something to you. 100%. Same thing for you, man. Any other interest outside of music? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I couldn't wait. I've been I'm waiting. I anticipate on this moment. <laughs> me, me personally, I feel like I'm good with my hands. So I feel like I'm, I am get into like product designing and um, maybe even architect. Oh, yeah, it been, okay. It's been on my mind. Yeah, it's been on my mind. That's dope nice. because so. Slick, this music business, you have to write a blueprint for what you want to do. Absolutely. You're putting some sort of architecture inside there. You can't just mm-hmm. get out there all willy-nilly. Yeah, for You real. know, you learned that from the first tour. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, exactly. now you got a blueprint of how it's going. And I'm sure that this time around is going much better for you guys. 100%. Yeah. yeah. And oh, then yeah. the fact it's cool that he's talking about doing the architecture thing because he was talking about moving to Atlanta to uh, yeah. to pursue it, actually. Yeah. That would be really, really yeah, dope. That real. And that would be another question I would like to ask you guys because you know a lot of times we got to leave where we're at to really expand would you ever consider relocating even if it's not here to atlanta but just outside of your city yeah i feel like it's it's inevitable i feel like i have to at some point i feel like in chicago even though we got a lot of creatives and we got a lot of people who come out of chicago yeah i think the most common thing is that people go to california or new york or atlanta or something like that and they branch out and they able to like meet people and just like rub the right elbows you feel me so i feel like at some point i'm just gonna have to Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's too, yeah. I don't like that. I wouldn't say crab in a barrel, but I feel like I don't like that. Um, It's like a globe. I don't like being within that little bubble. Yeah, boxed in, yeah, really. I don't slick. Like that. Yeah, I don't like that. So Understood. I got to, yeah. We kind of already answered it for you, but let's talk a little bit deeper. So Atlanta would be a city that you would consider moving to? Um, Definitely. But what I'm learning about myself, that's why I'm so appreciative of this tour specifically because – when I was in Chicago, you know, I was just like in the present moment, so I didn't really know what was going on. Yeah. But the fact that we've been moving around, I'm like, man, I really enjoy this tour life, you know, because uh, we go into these different cities, and it's just like new every city. Yes. And I feel like, wow, this is me. So it may be Atlanta, it may be New York, yeah. it may be L.A. I just don't know. Yeah. You know, I just got to keep touring. Yeah. See which nice. one that you're catching a vibe with Absolutely, the most. yeah. Being in other cities is important, I think, as an artist, because you learn other people's cultures, why they do things Mm -hmm. the way they do. Absolutely. Figure out which region is really resonate with your music the most. That way, when you come off this tour, you can, like, do a recap. Okay, New York loved us the most, so let's kind of focus on them right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Checking your Spotify, too, your Spotify artist page, seeing where majority of your streams are coming from. Okay, that's where we need to focus at first. A lot of artists get lost 
you're like, I don't know where to start. Well, you know, start yeah. with checking your your analytics and see where yeah. people are tuning in from the most. Yeah. Yeah. It may even be overseas. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's so true. I do yeah. got like a crazy amount of streams from Brazil. Yeah, I need to see what they talking about. We know for real, bro. It's all for them real. BBLs. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's that's dope though because it's like, how dope is it to have you ever been there? Never in my life. So how dope is it to have music playing in an area or a region that you've never been to? Never been it's so crazy. Great. You know what? You know, um, I got my, I got a, a royalty check. Yeah. And it was um, I don't know, it was a couple hundred dollars, and they said that it was from terrestrial radio in Spain. What? Wow. Yeah, and I'm like, dang! So somebody played wow. my stuff on the radio in Spain, and I'm like, how? But they speak Spanish. Like, how do they even understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So it's like it was mind blowing. It was like, oh no, I need to. Re- and I never promoted that song a day in my life either. Right. I never <laughs> promoted it once. Okay. So I'm like, oh yeah, I need to just like keep like putting out music. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. That got, and I mean, terrestrial radio for people who don't know, that's that's like FM radio, and it's hard to get your music on like a reporting station as an independent artist, and you didn't even put effort. To do that in a whole nother country. Yeah, that's crazy. That is amazing. Have you guys, you know, been outside the country, outside of the United States yet for your music? For music? Where would you want to go? Like, if where would be the first place you'd want to go? Um, that's a great question. Sure, whoever loved me the most. No, Brazil sounds like. (laughs) (laughs) No, you know what? I want to. I want to see. I'm going to Tokyo with my wife in September. That so, is dope. Yeah, so I would love to go to Tokyo. And I heard they treat all the black people like celebrities. So I want to yeah. go in there and rap and see what's up. <laughs> 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 who are they going to? Okay, obviously you want them to know you for you. But yeah. you go there, who you think they're going to think you are? They probably going to think I'm LeBron James. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> LeBron, uh-huh. can I get your autograph? <laughs> That's the Where would you want to go? Uh, to be honest, I was scrolling on Instagram not too long ago, and I seen like this Asian group, and it was all girls, and it, one had a, a guitar, one was on the drums, one was on the nice. mic, and they was jumping in the crowd and everything. So <laughs> I'm like, yo, I need to be over there, man. Yeah, For real. you yeah. would blend right in. I feel like I would. I feel like I would. That's dope, yeah. man. So let me ask you this: You mentioned you're married. Yeah. Do you have kids? No. No, not yet. Mm-mm. You want kids? Hey, I want a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> Get to making them babies. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, uh-huh. <laughs> how accepting is your wife? You being an artist, you being on tour. She actually. My, so my wife is a lawyer. Okay. And when we met, uh, we actually met at an open mic because she do music too. Oh, that's dope. So I think she always just appreciates. That's how you know she was like my first like fan. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. Um, she always has been supportive. She I love never it. never looked at my music like any type of anything. And then she know who I am deep down. So she was like, Oh yeah, like I gotta support you as a person. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And that's so yeah. important. If you have a significant other, whether you're dating or married, they have to be on board or else it could become almost like a hindrance. You know yeah, what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's dope. You have a significant other? Nah. <laughs> you on tour to find one? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he said, nah, I'm, I'm single life, baby. <laughs> I, sleep, I, sleep, I sleep with my guitar. Every night. <laughs> you stroke your guitar every, every night? night every See, night. I'm over there. We driving here. I look back. This man rubbing his guitar. I'm like, boy, if you don't stop. <laughs> you don't cut it out. It's like that. It's like that. Were you a fan of Prince? Um... I feel like the older I got, I became a fan of Prince. Yeah. Because I I realized how talented he truly was. Yeah. Yeah, so the older I got. But when I was younger, I'm like, dang, why he wearing heels? You know what I'm saying? Right. (laughs) (laughs) But you understand and appreciate people's creative form of the way they look. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, we ain't supposed to care what other people think. No, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And he was so free. I'm like, man, this guy's dope. And he probably was so happy, too. Yeah. When you can learn to be that free, man, you're just, you're extremely happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's dope. So you said you're in Texas next? Yeah, we're going to Houston to some Houston. Houston is a great city. I can't wait. Mm. It is Texas as a whole really supports independent artists. Where are you guys going to be touching down in Houston? Um, we are going to be actually Thorn though. The hangout. The hangout. We got the hangout. <laughs> that told you got to have a woman on your team. <laughs> They're the glue that holds For it real. all together. Uh-huh. <laughs> the hangout. We're going to be at the hangout. So let me ask you this. You guys are you said touching about seven cities, right? Mm-hmm. What so are you doing before each city? 
if you've never been there to get yourself prepared, are you like doing your research on the city? Like, what are you doing to prepare yourself? That sounds um, like the mature thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> he said, we just winging it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of times we touch it down that same exact day. So we driving yeah. on the road, we rehearsing on the road, like yeah. trying to rap yeah. our lyrics and remember everything. But you're still getting yourself prepared. That's yeah, good, yeah. Man. That's dope, man. Have you guys been to Houston before? I never I never been to Houston. First time? Yeah, first time. Mm-hmm. I love Texas. Yeah. I love Texas. I've been to Dallas. I've been to um Austin. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Austin is beautiful. Yeah. I love super Austin. hot I love, though. Yeah. Super, super hot. hundred oh, yeah. percent. Oh yeah. So how many cities have you already touched? I think you said Detroit. Uh, mm-hmm. Brooklyn, uh, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So you still got what? Three about three more to go. Yeah, three or four more to go. That's mm-hmm. dope, man. Yeah. That is really dope. Um, are you guys vlogging your entire journey? So I got um, my little brother here, and he been like, you know, doing some little video stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then we've been like videotaping each other. So yeah, yeah. 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 If you don't document it, didn't happen, right? Exactly. Right. For real. Right. Most definitely. Do you guys have any other interviews along the way? You guys came and seen me. Absolutely. Yes, Tampa. Had to. We love you. I Had love you guys to. too. My <laughs> brothers, man. No, that's really dope. And I like to be a part of people's journey as they're on the rise. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people that sat down with me are now superstars. Beautiful. And I love to see that. Yeah. Because once they get to that big level, Drake level, really slick, they don't need to do stuff like this. They should, but they could still be popular without doing it. Yeah. This yeah. is an important part of your journey that you can't skip. Absolutely. What would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned throughout your journey in music? Go ahead and start thinking about it because I got you coming up. over here. I'm thinking, oh, whoa. <laughs> um, the biggest lesson I learned is, like, whatever makes you you, make yeah. sure you implement that in your music all the time yeah. because that's what people going to connect to. Mm. Whatever mm. idea you got of who you think you is, you know what I'm saying, forget that idea. You need to connect with what you got going on inside for real. Yeah. Like, to pay attention to your habits, pay attention to the people that you're around and things you like to do and stuff like that. You got to put that in the music. Yeah. You feel mm-hmm. me? Because people, I just released a, uh, a, a tape called Jackball Music. Yeah. And back in Chicago, you know, Jackballing is really just getting behind the wheel, just having fun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like, when you listen to the album, it's like people can connect to the fact that it's just like, it just feels fun. It feels real. It feels mm-hmm. like, oh man, like he, you know, he made me want to go put my foot on that Facts. gas. Yeah. You know Facts. what I'm saying? So put yeah. yourself in that music. Music for real. Hundred percent. You don't want to walk around being this facade all the time. That yeah. would probably get mentally, physically, spiritually draining after a while. Mm-hmm. Just be you. Yes. What yeah. about you? Dang, that's literally I was gonna say make the music that that's authentic to you. Yeah. Because uh that's what's gonna resonate with you and that's what's gonna resonate with the people that's meant to hear you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, don't don't make music that's not you. Because right. that's only gonna last for so long. Exactly. Absolutely. So yeah. And um I feel like that's one of the biggest lessons that I learned. Just be free because that's what's going to give you that ultimate freedom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of these artists, they try to be gimmicky and put mm-hmm. out what they think other people are going to like exactly. or whatever else is trending. No. Yeah. It's going to, you're going to throw it out there and it might go viral a quick minute. Yeah. yeah. But it's going to fall off just as quickly as it got on. You can't keep up with it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What's the most recent single you guys put out? Talk to us about it. We just released a single called Florida. Yeah. Um, and Florida is a, pl- a special place to be. I love Florida. Florida yeah. was actually one of the first places outside of Chicago that I've gotten paid to do something music related. Oh, what, what city? Uh, uh, we was in Pensacola, actually. Okay. Yeah, so shout out to Florida. But actually, I was just recently there in Miami for my sister's bachelorette bachelor thing whatever yeah. it's called whatever it's, whatever that thing is called <laughs> uh, but i was there for that and uh i was just i had the idea in my mind like man just touched down in florida she like my decor up you know what i'm saying mm. so i was just thinking about it while i was done i'm like yeah. man whenever i get back home i gotta record <laughs> this song i can tell you was hype about it yeah i couldn't wait that's so, yeah. dope and he man. just so happened to be at my house while i was making it <laughs> and he was like bro can i get on that <laughs> <laughs> and i was like yeah for sure what was the vibe like for you with that record Oh, my God. When I heard the beat, I'm just like, bro, what? Ain't no way I'm about to leave this house and I'm not on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need parts. Yeah. And then the way he just like his flow on it, his how he made his voice sound on it, it just all fits so perfect. And I'm like, oh, yeah, bro, this one turned up. I need to be on this. Facts. Yeah. Are you guys going to shoot the video in Florida? 
Oh, that'd be crazy. That'd be too crazy. You got to. You have to go back to like Miami or Pensacola. Go to the one of the beaches or something. Yeah. Shoot a Fresh video out the out there. plane. Fresh out yeah. the plane. Start shooting. Yeah, that would be oh, hard. Low key. We oh, got to set the day. Yeah. 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 Who, who do you work with to do your visuals? Shout out to Paul oh Elliott. God. Paul Elliott. And shout out to Sean Chupik. Those are my two guys. Those, yeah. those are some of my really, really good friends. And um, they just been rocking with me from the beginning. Yeah. Sean, the type of person, he won't even charge me. He'll be, he'll be on some like, man, I know you got me, you know, you That's can pay love. me this money whenever you got it. You That's feel me? Love. So we'll shoot three, four, five music videos. And then I'll finally, all right, Sean, here go $250. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. do what I can. But like, and then Paul, he's just so passionate about our music. He's so passionate about like yeah. listening to what we got going on. And he's just been there ever since I've been young, you know? Yeah. So those, shout out to both of those guys. Yeah. Most definitely. Hey, relationships will put you in places that money cannot. For real. Biggest facts. You'll For be real. able to make moves just off of the relationship you built without actually breaking bread with some mm-hmm. people. Sounds like that's what you're doing with your videographer. And he understands. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, He'll be like, he got me later. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. That's what this business is about is understanding when there's a time and a place for everything. And you don't always have to charge. Like I do like a lot of red carpet events where I'll, you know, do the uh, interviews and stuff. Yeah. And I don't charge for all of them because I know the type of exposure I'm going to gain off of it. I'm going to meet up. people there that I mm-hmm. network with that might spend money with me later. That's what's so up. it's, you know, yeah. anything. You build them relationship with people, that's mm-hmm. what you got to do. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are headed out to Texas. Yeah. A couple more cities after that. Um, once you get back home, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get off this <laughs> tour? Shoot, I'm finna make love to my wife. <laughs> That's what's up. Make a new A. That's what's up. He Look. did say he want a gang of babies, wifey. Hey. <laughs> Look, it's, it's so funny because I probably said it like seven times before. We parked in the parking lot, and I said it like seven times before we walked up here. I got on their nerve. I'm about to make a mixtape. <laughs> I'm about to make a mixtape. There you go. I feel so inspired. I'm about to make a mixtape. So, yes. So let's... Just for a moment, let's talk about that. Are you going to make like a real deal mixtape where you have a DJ hosting it and stuff? Um, You know what? Shout out to my boy Fly. He actually trying to uh, get into the DJ scene. So yeah. I, we just might do it. Yeah. You know, this just might be something that uh, that's meant to be. That would be dope, you know, because, of course, you know, most artists have gotten away from that because yeah. they put out albums and EPs on the digital platforms. But, like, I love mixtapes. You know, my yeah. business partner's OG Bigger Rankin. He got the – he's done a million mixtapes, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And yeah. he still does a lot of intros and stuff for artists. Mm-hmm. I think you should do that. Yeah, for real. You know, even for if real. he just talks over the intro of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I feel like – Put his yeah. voice on there. That's really, really dope, so man. We got to get into that. We got to do that. Yeah. yeah, I think stuff like that, because people have gotten away from it, if you do it now, it's going to really stand out. Yeah. Mm. If you did it in the midst of when everybody else was doing it's like, okay, it's another mixtape with a DJ on it. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people gotten away from that. You mm. can still do it. You're dropping mm. a lot of gems. Yeah. Ooh, you're dropping right. gems, for right. real. My other big gem, I always, always, always drop to these independent artists. You have to grind like social media doesn't exist. Mm. take it back to the basics handing mm. out flyers putting posters up making your presence known mm-hmm. you guys go to houston make sure you're flooding the city if you got you know flyers and stuff like that stickers whatever mm-hmm. you know you have to do that type of stuff you know what i'm right. saying leave your mark there people know you was in the city yeah. Yeah. boots up put them boots on um, yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying getting the flyers or even the stickers and put your qr code on there mm-hmm. i scan that type of stuff one place that I've seen it a couple times is on gas pumps. We all had to pump gas, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, put your little sticker up there. You know what I'm saying? For like, real. you never know who might stand there and scan hey, it up. Yeah. That's yeah. what I said. That's what Think I outside the box. Great idea. Yeah. Take it back to the basics. Guerrilla marketing, all that. It still works. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Um, before we get up out of here, three things we got to do, right? Tell everybody where they can follow you at on your social platforms. So my name is Riggio. It's R-I-D-G-I-O um, underscore. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, I'm also on Threads. I'm also <laughs> I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. You feel me? I'm everywhere. That's funny because now people are starting to say, follow me on Threads. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? My name is uh, Parnell The Rasta. So P-A-R-N-E-L-L, The Rasta. And you can follow me on Instagram. Um, Yeah, that's about it as far as like the social media platform. But yeah. like the music platform, I'm on all streaming platforms at Parnell, P A R. N E L L. Shake your head work one time. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I, I knew you had it in you. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, sit down quiet, but nah, I, let it out. I had to. <laughs> I had to. You're like a rock star. For real. <laughs> Anybody you guys want to give a shout out to? 
Shout out to God. Shout out to Jesus. Absolutely. <laughs> shout out to Jesus. Jesus. Shout out to Jesus. 100% yes, shout Lord. out to him. Man, shout out to my parents for making me. For real. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad, lady. for coming yeah. together on that very night. Uh-huh. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Also, shout out, shout out to my little brother. He's been rocking with us this whole time. Yeah. Uh, of course, shout out to Thorn. Thorn right there. Shout out to Thorn. Uh, shout out yeah. to my wife. You know, she she let us use her car to actually drive on this whole tour. Wow. Yeah, so. She's amazing. Yeah, shout I out to Bay. Shout out to you, Bay. I love you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Anybody else? Uh... Shout out to my family. Shout out to Ridge for putting this to this tour together. Shout man. out to you. Yes, thank you. Shout yeah. out to you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Shout happen, out man. to you guys. Thank, thank you guys you. for being here. Absolutely. You guys were like a ball of fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> um, last but not least, we live. Industries. Industry's most wanted. Most wanted. What makes Ridge the industry's most wanted? What makes Ridge the industry most wanted? Man, I'm probably the most passionate you know what I'm saying? The most heartfelt, the most hard hitting artist that y'all gonna see. Yeah. That's me. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Parnell. I'm a rapper that play guitar. I'm a guitarist that rap. And uh I'm 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 starting a lane. I'm starting a genre of music that's about to be so big. I guarantee you, this is this is something new. You know, so yeah, I that's love what makes it. me want to win it. One last thing, your voice is an instrument, right? Absolutely. Give us some guitar sounds real quick that you Oh. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I love it. I love you being so spontaneous, both you guys. You guys are a whole vibe. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Absolutely. Thank you. Give me love one more time. Boom. Sure. Love. Boom. We up out of here, y'all. Peace. Peace. Up. It's propane in my tank, this car take both lanes when I roll up You from my west, you go outside if you like a foreigner She told me don't follow love off the top, but it was normal I 